Okay, 3.6 homework, exponential applications practice. Okay, so we already did this in 3.1 and 3.2, but here's some extra practice. Okay, so we have strontium 90. So this 90 doesn't actually mean anything. Just think of it as like the name. It has a half-life of 25 years. So when I see half-life, I'm automatically thinking one half is the base. Okay, and 25 years, whatever time we have, we're going to divide it by 25. If you start with a 10 milligram sample, so this is going to be our A naught, right, our starting amount, how much would it be remaining after 10 years? So let's do this one over here. So let's first write a formula. So we have the amount of time T equals A naught, which is 10. We're doing a half life, and it's T over 25. So if we go ahead and sub in 10, if you think about it, 10 over 25 is not even a full half-life. Okay, so that's 0.4 of a half-life. So if we put this into our calculators, and remember, we want to just like leave the 10 for now, and we have to do the exponent first. So if we put 0 0.5 to the 0.4, we get a very long decimal. And then we multiply that by 10, and we get 7. Point, let's go 58. Okay, so we can just say, therefore, 7.58 milligrams is left after 10 years. Okay, number two, the doubling period. So when I see doubling, I think B equals 2 of a bacteria culture is 15 minutes. So whatever our time is, we're going to divide it by 15 minutes to represent how many doubling periods. It has the initial cost count of uh, 5,000 bacteria. So that's our A naught. How many bacteria will there be after 45 minutes? Okay, so for A, we're going to go amount of time T equals A naught times, oh, it's doubling. Uh, to the t over 15. So if we do the amount at time 45, well, we know that there are fifth, there are three 15 minute blocks in 45 minutes. So if we were to divide 45 divided by 15, that's three. So two to the three is just eight, and then that times 5,000 is 40,000. Okay, now 1.5 hours. This one's a little bit different because we have to actually convert this into minutes. So if we take 1.5 and we multiply it by 60, we know that there are 60 minutes in an hour. So that gives us 90. Okay, so the amount at time 90, right, 90 minutes, is 5,002 to the 90 over 15. Okay, well, 90 over 15. You don't have to do this step every time, but it's six. So our, there are six doubling times in 90 minutes, which is 64. And that times 5,000, we get 320, 000, 000, okay? And we can call this bacteria. Therefore, there are 40,000 bacteria after 45 minutes and 320,000 bacteria after 90 minutes. Okay, number three, the world population is doubling, so that's two, base of two, every 35 years. In 1980, so when our questions give us a reference point, this would be like t equals zero. It would be like our starting time, because again, that's our reference time. The population was about 4.5 billion. So let's represent a naught as 4.5 and then just scale it, the scale will be billion. Okay, if the doubling time remains 
at 35 years, find the projected world population for the year 2120. So the amount at some time is going to be 4.5, and then this is a doubling time, and then some number over 35. Okay? So if we were to take 2120, which is the year, and we were to subtract 1980, okay? That's 140 years. Okay, so let's go ahead and sub in 140 years. And let's see if 140 divides by 35 nicely. And it does. It's to the exponent 4. Okay, so if we were to put uh, 4.5 times 2 to the exponent 4 into our calculators, we get 72. Okay, therefore in 21... 2120, there will be 72 billion PPL. Okay, number four. Cobalt 57, again, the 57 doesn't have anything to do with uh, numbers that we need. We just need that it's cobalt. It has a half-life, so base is a half. Of 20 seconds so the time is going to be over 20 initially the sample has a mass of 80 grams so that's our a naught how much of the sample is remaining after two minutes so if we were to convert two minutes into seconds we'd have to multiply that by 60 and we get 120 seconds okay so our general formula is the amount at time t equals 80 times 1 half to the t over 20. Now, if we wanted to do this for 120 seconds, that would be like 6 half, or yeah, 6 half lives if you think about it. Right, 120 over 20. So if we were to put this into our calculators, 80 times 0.5 to the 6 we get 1.25 and this is grams okay therefore there are 1.25 grams left after two minutes okay and now number five the doubling period of bacteria so uh, the base is going to be doubling is four days so we have some time over four it has the initial bacteria of a naught 30 bacteria how many bacteria will there be after 12 days and five weeks okay so our general formula is the amount at time t equals the initial which is 30 um this is doubling so it's two to the t over four Okay, and then the 4 is measured in days. So for A, we're given 12 days. So the amount at 12 days is 30 to 12 over 4. Okay, that means that there's three doubling periods. So I get 240. 30 times 2 times 2 times 2. Okay, and what about 5 weeks? Well, one week is seven days. So we have to multiply five by seven. So this is 35 days. So B asks for the amount after 35 days. Okay, so that's not gonna be um, a nice integer number. 35 divided by four is gonna be 8.75, which is fine. We go 30 times 2 to the 8.75. And we get 12, 9, 16. Going back up here, we're talking about bacteria. We're just going to round for this one. And this is measured, oh, it's measured in bacteria. Okay, so we can just say, therefore, um, there will be 
240 bacteria. After 12 days, and 12, 9, 16 bacteria. After uh, five weeks.